Good morning. I hope everybody gets into our places. We sit down and we crisscross, put our hands in our laps, and we take a big breath and let it out. I think everybody's ready now. Okay, so today we're going to have a story by John Berryman on the mystery of Pentecost. Pentecost. I wonder what Pentecost is. That's a long word. Pentecost. But look, our table is red. Let's look for our story. It's like our, it's a parable box, but it's red. Look at that box. The parables are our presents. Presents from God in the story. I wonder what this story is. Oh, I'm going to take a look inside. Let's look inside. Well, look at this. It's something else that's red. Oh, it's a big cloth. Ooh. Look at my story. I'll put my story right there. We'll open this up. It's like a giant jelly bean. Big and red. Look. There's ours. Look at that nice big red. Let's see what else is in the box. Look. Once upon a time, long time ago, the people all decided to build a tower and to be closer to God. And so they all worked and they worked together and they worked hand in hand and they all worked together and built things up and oh, there's the first level. And then they built another level and they were getting good and it was getting taller and the taller they got, the closer they could be to God. Then they were still working very well together. And then they built another level. The tower was getting bigger and bigger. But then as they got bigger and bigger, they started arguing with each other. And they started going into their own groups. And then they started believing that we were better builders than God. And so they built it even more, but they weren't working together. And it wasn't as straight as it was at the beginning. And they got a little bit higher. And they all... They talked their own languages, <clears throat> and they didn't listen to each other, and they all wanted to do it their own way. And as it got bigger and bigger, then it got all the way to the top, and, oh, it fell down. Oh, my goodness, it broke into so many pieces. They were beautiful pieces, but they weren't all together, and they couldn't build it again. And this was the Tower of Babel, because we were talking and talking past each other and not to with each other. So thousands of years later, Jesus came, and he was with us, and then he died. But the people, of his, his disciples, they all worked together and learned from Jesus, and they built, and they worked in the upper room. And they had a room where they met, and they spent time with Jesus, where we had our Last Supper, and where... And they would sit together and pray, and where they would tell stories about Jesus and what Jesus had told them. There's our little door for our, our little room. And so they would all be in here, and they would work together and talk with each other because they all spoke the same language. But they stayed inside their room because they were afraid of being outside. And even though Jesus was dead, he came back and he visited us. And so we have our 12 disciples. Well, here we have them. Let's see what we have. We remember these disciples from our other lessons. Well, look, here's Simon the Zealot. And here's Philip. Remember, they all had their own special shield. Oh, and Thomas, who was a builder. And Simon Peter with the keys to the kingdom. And Andrew with his blue and white cross. And Bartholomew, he was the knives. And James, the son of Zebedee, he had three seashells. And James the less, who was a builder. And John with the snake and the goblet. And Jude with his sailboat. And Matthew. So they all were in this room and they were talking to each other 
and they would remember about Jesus. And then Jesus was in the room with them, and he said, follow me. And so they all went out, and Jesus took them, took them to a mountain. And when they were in the mountain, they all stood together in the light, and, and Jesus went up to heaven, and the Holy Spirit came down and talked to his disciples. And he had the Holy Spirit on them. And so Jesus wasn't there anymore. And so they all went back to their room together and they closed the door. They were all in the room. They closed the door with nobody in there and Jesus came back to them. And a big wind came inside the room and the Holy Spirit came on them again and they all started talking in different languages. But they, they were talking different languages but they understood each other. And they went outside, and the disciples went outside, and everybody, they could hear and understand everybody because they were no longer just disciples of Jesus. They were the apostles of Jesus. And they went out to tell Jesus' story to everybody around the world. Wow, that's a big story. That's why it's got a special color, and it's red. I wonder which disciple you like the best. Is it the ones with the keys? Or the sideways cross? But as they went out, they told the story of Jesus. Do you know the story of Jesus? I hope you like the story. Now we can do activities. Maybe we can draw our own shield. Or maybe we can play with clay and make a shield. Okay, have a good day.